So I was gonna make a Christmas video this week, but then I remembered that I hate Christmas and I don't want to. So last week, my boyfriend and I hosted a dead celebrities costume party. I went as Amy Winehouse, my boyfriend went as Jesus. Here we are, together at last. And one of my cute followers, Bella, asked me if I could do a video on my Amy Winehouse costume. And I like, you know what? That is a great idea. I'm not gonna do anything on like the makeup part of my costume because like I'm not that great at makeup. This is basically just winged eyeliner, right? But I will do a video on the Amy Winehouse hair because my Amy Winehouse hair was just about the most ratchet thrown together thing that you've ever seen. <laughs> when I say I cut a lot of corners, I mean I cut every corner. It's basically a circle. But I feel like it was very effective, you know? It definitely gave off the Amy Winehouse vibes and it was really, really easy to do just using stuff that I already have at home and old extensions that I was going to throw away anyway. This costume cost me zero dollars. So I'm gonna show you how I did my Amy Winehouse hair by basically cheating and doing everything you're not supposed to do. So I'm gonna prepare by putting on a wig cap. Here it is, I'm just gonna chuck this on. I'm not even gonna bother braiding my hair underneath this. Usually I'd braid my hair for a wig video, but I can't be bothered. We're cutting corners here. This is how we do. Besides, I feel like Amy Winehouse's hair is very voluminous anyway, so any kind of extra volume we've got in the back is probably a good thing. Next, I have this wig, you guys have seen this one before in the video that I did all about every single wig I own. So let's put this bad boy on. Here we go, step one complete. So Amy Winehouse has like this really, really big kind of ball of hair that kind of sits like on top of her head. So obviously I'm gonna need like something extra to make that out of. So I have here yet Another wig. This is a short haired wig. You've seen this one too. This is going to go here. Like, it's gonna be the poof of the hair. But because it's a wig, I kind of need to like stuff something in here to make it stand up. So I have these like headscarf things, and I literally just stuffed these inside this wig and then placed it on my hair like this. And that keeps it from like caving in. <laughs> So I'm just gonna use this little extension clip that this wig has at the front to clip this into the hair of the wig that I'm wearing. And there we go. <laughs> I told you we were cutting corners here. To give the illusion that this is just all the hair from the wig, I'm going to grab, I'm gonna use this random bit of extensions that I've never used. I, it's literally just like an off cut of a longer piece of extensions. It's basically trash, I can't really use it for anything and I was gonna throw it out. But today, we're gonna use it to make this look more seamless. So I'm gonna fold this extension in half and basically just like pin this extension to the front of my hair. I'll use a bobby pin, I'ma put one in here, one crossed over the top of that one, and then two more on the other side. Then I'm gonna grab these extension pieces and comb them over the wig so that it kind of hides the fact that this wig is short and the hairs are really short and it's kind of fluffy. And then once I've got the bits at the back, I'm just gonna pin them there too. Yo, know, I'm not even using any hairspray for this or anything. Like, you don't need hairspray. Just, you just don't like move your head around too much and everything will stay in place. It's fine. I feel like you can get away with cutting this many corners on hair that's dark. Obviously, like it's harder to see what's going on on darker hair. If I was doing this with blonde wigs, I think it'd be a bit of a different story, but we're lucky that Amy had some nice dark hair so that I can cut all these corners without everybody telling that it's just a shambles. So next thing that I'm gonna do to hide these clips and this extension is, I'm just gonna use a headscarf, you know? So I'm gonna split the wig around the back and just put this headscarf on and make sure that where I tie this up at the front, it covers the clips in the hair so that you can't really tell that it's all different pieces. And there we go, basically. One more thing I am gonna do, Amy didn't have this all the time, but sometimes she did like a bit of a victory roll at the front of her hair, so 
I'm gonna do one too. That's how I wore it at the party at least. I'm not very good at victory rolls because my hair is curly and you can't really do victory rolls on curly hair. So I'm not that experienced with doing them, but I can try my best. There we go, victory roll. And I'm just gonna pin this in place with some more pins. And that's basically it. This is it, it's finished. I don't really need to do anything more than this. This is the most janky thing ever, but it looks good, so who's complaining, right? This is how I did my Amy Winehouse hair. If anything, I could like curl the bottom of this a little bit more, but it's kind of already curly, so I don't really care. You can easily tell who I'm supposed to be. Amy did have a very striking look, so it's easy to kind of emulate just from hair and makeup. But there we go, this is the finished look. This is how I did my Amy Winehouse hair for my dead celebrities party. What do you think? Leave me a comment below. Do you think it's effective? I think it's fine. <laughs> In any case, thank you for watching this not Christmas special. It was gonna be a Christmas special, but totally isn't. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic holidays. I post fresh videos every single Friday, so I will see you guys next week. This has been It's Arabella, first name, it's last name, Arabella, and I will see you next time. Arabella out.